What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're going to be chatting about why do we limp after we've been injured? Welcome. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Alexander Kravich. I'm a physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today we're going to be chatting about why do we limp after we've had a lower body injury. So before we get into it, let's talk a little bit about the gait cycle or the walking cycle. When you take a step, you usually land on your heel first. Your heel makes initial contact with the ground, and then you load through the middle of your foot, and then you lean over the middle of your foot, and then you push off through your toes or through your forefoot, and then lift up. This all happens at the level of your spinal cord, so it happens subconsciously, and you, the movement is symmetrical, and it's generated by these uh, components in our nervous system called our central pattern generators for individuals who are neurologically healthy. Of course, there are some cases where it isn't this symmetrical, but that will be left for a later date to discuss about. But basically, when you've had an injury, like if you've sprained your ankle or hurt your knee, or just if you even had pain, if you have osteoarthritis in your hip or knee, then a compensatory response that your body takes is to limp. And our bodies take the path of least resistance. We're going to do what feels the best for us and the most comfortable, and that will reproduce the least pain. So what happens if you notice people when they're walking or if somebody maybe has some pain in their lower body, they're going to limp. And when they walk, instead of going through that cycle of heel, midfoot, toe, push off, they're going to rotate their hips outwards, have their toes pointing outwards, and they're going to try to land on the middle portion of their foot and then they're gonna to try to get off of it as soon as possible. And the purpose for that is we're trying to minimize the amount of contact and the time that we spend on that foot as much as possible. So we're trying to limit it as much as we can because obviously the more that you're weight bearing and putting load through that injured or painful leg, then the more painful that's gonna be. So our bodies are saying, we don't want to produce that pain. We wanna spend as little time as possible. So that's why you see that classic hips rotated outwards, toes pointed out, and then tap and then pop right back up and tap and pop back right, right back up. If you still want to put weight on that leg or if you don't have any crutches where you, you, know, you don't want to put any weight at all, that's the mechanism that we use. So that's why when we take that step, we're trying to just spend as little time as possible so that we don't have that pain reproduction and that symptom reproduction or have as little of it as possible. Now, instead of just trying to push through those symptoms, if you have pain or if you have a limp, in my opinion, I would rather you use a gait aid, whether that be a cane or a crutch on the opposite side or both crutches or just be non-weight bearing, if possible, to try to allow that tissue to heal a little bit because most of these injuries are going to get better within a period of a, a few weeks to a few months based on our body's natural healing process. However, you know, in that time, while it is important or it can be important to put some weight on that leg, depending on what kind of injury you had, it would be more important to try to return to normal walking as much as you can. And if that means you need to use a, a crutch or two crutches or a cane in order to replicate that normal heel, midfoot, toe, push off pattern, then I would rather you do that versus just trying to tough it out and just continue limping because then you're changing where the forces are being applied in different parts of your body and some people can get some pain on the other leg because now they're relying too much on that leg or knee or hip or even low back because our body is one big kinetic chain and everything kind of is related uh, to the other and every every body part plays a role so it's important to use a, a, a gated or equipment if you do find that you're limping and also understand why we do limp in the first place. Have you ever had an injury and you found that you limped as a result of it? How was your experience and, and what happened and, and what were you doing to try to rem remedy it? Did you go to physiotherapy? Did you use a crutch or two crutches or a cane? Let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about the video and why we limp and why our bodies take the path of least, re least resistance when we have pain or an injury to our lower body. If you find value in this content, consider subscribing or checking out some of my other videos where I have over 400 videos on various exercise, physio, and medical related content. And if you still find value, consider subscribing to my channel. It really allows my channel to grow and allows me to reach a wider audience. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.